Hello, my name is Andrea Palmer and I am the Housing uh, Grants and Fiscal Manager with the City of Oxnard here to present to you the 2023-24 Annual Action Plan and the Oxnard Citizen Participation Plan Amendment. The three uh, programs that are in discussion in the Annual Action Plan are as follows. It's Community Development Block Grant, the Home Investment Partnerships Program, uh, and the HEARTH Emergency Solutions Grant Program. All entitlement programs are not competitive. The city uh, is an entitlement city, which means that we have to produce a plan and provide it to HUD. And when they accept it, we are able to receive the annual allocation. Additional and in background information is that we have to, uh, as a city, have a five-year regional consolidated plan and an, and an analysis of impediments to fair housing. Both of those were submitted in 2020, and we are in the fourth year of the consolidated plan period. Hence, this is the fourth annual action plan under that period. So we're here to request approval to from committee and the city council to submit the annual action plan to HUD and then HUD must approve the plan in order to receive the funding. The funding plan is as follows. We're going to start with CDBG, Community Development Block Grant money. The uh, administrative proposal is $462,783. This is a 20% 20% of the entire allocation, which that is the highest uh, amount that can be um, allocated to administration. And there is a 15% cap on public services, which we will go down the list of the applications received and the funding recommendations for committee and council's review. The first is Livingston Memorial. The recommended funding is $8,000. The Oxnard Performing Arts Center for a Creative Youth Development Program, they're requesting uh, 20,000 and staff is recommending 20,000. The Oxnard Recreation Division has a few um, applications that they've submitted. They, um, for the first is the Colonial Memorial Park Veterans Gym. They requested 100,000 and staff is recommending 48,000. The Police Activities League, otherwise known as PAL, is has requested $100,000 and staff is recommending $45,087. The Southwinds Youth Center, uh, they requested $75,000 for that program and staff is recommending $31,000 um, to the program. The Oxnar Cultural and Community Services Division requested $60,000 for Palm Vista Senior Center and staff is recommending to council to approve $31,000 in fund. The Oxnard Housing Authority submitted two applications, both at $67,000. Staff recommended $36,000 for the first, which is Senior Supportive Services, and $73,000 for the Housing Supportive Services program. Shelter Care Resources applied for $57,216, and staff recommended $20,000 uh, in funding. And then there is Turning Point. There's Turning Point um, Foundation for the Emergency Shelter and Multi-Service Navigation Program. They requested $127,000, and staff is recommending $35,000. And um, Cal Lutheran Oxnard Cares uh, requested $81,700, and uh, for their Affordable Mental Health Program and uh, staff has not recommended that project for funding. So the public service total application amounts was $781,000 and staff is recommending approximately $347,000 in funding, which is under the 15% cap. The public improvement programs, um, many mansions applied for $489,660 for a pocket park at the Aspire development. Staff is recommending full funding for that project. The Ventura County Community Development Corporation, otherwise known as VCCDC, is asking for $250,000 for their Hope to Home Down Payment Assistance Program, and staff is recommending full funding for that. The Oxnard Housing and Redevelopment um, Program is an internal 
uh, program and the balance of the funds uh, to commit uh, is $764,307. The, um, there are two uh, projects that were not recommended for funding under, under public improvements, and that's People Self Help for the Cypress Place at Garden City. They requested 1.8 million, and the We Care project uh, requested $660,000, and that was also not uh, recommended for funding, and it had an incomplete application. So the public improvement um, uh, section, uh, the applications amounted to $4 million, and staff has recommended roughly $1.5 million uh, of eligible funding. And then, of course, the third um, activity not recommended for funding, as stated in an earlier slide, is the CalU Affordable Mental Health, Mental Health Services Program. In summary, um, we're looking at $5.2 million in requests, and staff is recommending $2.3 million of those requests to be funded. For ESG, there were five applications received. Um, administration has a cap of 7.5%, which is, equates to that $15,591. Um, we have Turning Point Foundation that requested 80,000, and staff is recommending 46,000 for the program. The Salvation Army Street Outreach is requesting $126,884. And staff is recommending 63,000. The Kingdom Center has requested $30,000, and staff is not re recommending funds this year. And then Mercy House Living Center's Rapid Rehousing is requesting $68,730, and staff has recommended $58,500 in ESG funding. And then the United Way of Ventura County requested $29,250. And the funding recommendation is $24,792. So the applications total $338,000, and staff is recommending $207,883 in funding. The home funds that are um, being provided, we, there are no applications in the pipelines, and there, um, we're just asking council and the community to um, to accept the funds uh, for future use. So there, the cap for home is 10% for administration, and that equates to $86,886. Um, the Community Housing Development Organization set aside, it must be at 15% or greater, and that equates to $115,330. And then the balance is for future projects in addition to the 115,000 that was mentioned in the CHODO. So the total amount expected to receive is $868,886 total. The Oxnard Citizen Participation Plan Amendment um, has been added to this item. There are some changes and red lines in the attachments. The uh, most substantial change is aligning the uh, funding abilities, the funding permissions that are reflective of what the city manager's um, ability to um, um, enter into a contract and amend and make changes to at 200,000, at less than $200,000. And then the director uh, of housing having the ability to uh, make changes under $100,000. Um, in addition to increasing the ESG, uh, flexibilities from 30,000 to 50,000. This uh, stated earlier is just to align with the city policy of the city manager and the housing director having the ability to make changes to contracts and amendments and funding uh, budgets uh, without having to go to council or HUD. Staff asked that the committee conduct a public hearing regarding the fiscal year 23-24 action plan with funding recommendations and the amended citizen participation plan. Approve the 2023 action plan with the recommended use of funds that conform to the consolidated plan goals as defined in the consolidated plan for CDBG, home, and ESG to be submitted to HUD. Approve the updated changes in the amended uh, citizen participation plan authorize the city manager and his designees 
to incorporate the grant allocations into the action plan and authorize budget appropriations to fund the administration and projects, including the ability to increase or decrease project funding by 10% or up to the administrative amount of the administering staff, whichever, whichever is greater. Authorize the city manager and his designees to incorporate recommended changes resulting from public input for the action plan and the citizen participation plan as directed by council, including the authorization of funding appropriations and revenue or expenditure budget, budget changes up to 10% of each grant. Authorize the city manager and his designees to execute the required applications, certifications, and other documents to submit the annual action plan and citizen participation plan to HUD and authorize the city manager and his designees to execute HUD agreements and, all, and signed all agreements for the implementation of the action plan, including subrecipient, interdepartmental, and interdepartmental agreements. This concludes the presentation for this item. Thank you.